Hey, I'm Brian. My name is Jane. My name is John Deliberty. My name is Adam Graves. My name is Tim Doggard. And this is day one. This is my first day. This is day one. This is day one. And today is my first day in the pharmacology department. If I would give advice to somebody who's three months into their program, I would say... It's difficult to balance classes and a personal life, so... Be patient, uh, be mindful, and... Take some time to establish some good habits, both in work and at home, um, in terms of taking notes. Just enjoy your failures because you will fail a lot, but at the end of the day... Get used to forming habits and keeping your hobbies and your stress relievers. Establishing good work and life balance and... Uh, you know, those have really been important for me over the last few months. So going into second year, I'm glad that I had the experience of first year to teach me how to find the fine balance between the two. My name is Ernesto Leon, and today is my first day in pharmacology. The pant legs come up way past my ankle. It's a look for sure. We've got a job to do. We should prepare the equipment. <laughs> you guys had to do it virtually. You had to learn new technology and give your presentations on the new technology. What was that like? Stressful. A little bit harder to like gauge the room and gauge the reactions that the PIs had to your answers because it was all over Zoom. It doesn't seem like it would be as different as it was. It was kind of hard because some of the PI has like the, the camera turned turn off. So it's just not being able to visualize the room and seeing their facial expressions, especially because the boxes are super tiny. I guess it was just the challenge of adapting to it. It wasn't the worst thing ever, but it could have been maybe a little better in person. I'm glad that we all agreed to kind of practice prior to doing it. You allowing us to run iPads like that well ahead of time. You know, it's not like you just gave it to us for three days. Um, it was like a lifesaver. It's nice when you're doing a chalk talk on a large whiteboard to be able to leave something up and then walk back over to it. And that's definitely a little bit more difficult on an iPad. But all in all, yeah, it was stressful, but you know, we got through it, and so I guess that's the, the main takeaway here. Yeah, you guys definitely, you had a lot on top of you during this process. So tell me a little bit about preparing for it. What was the semester like going through grant writing together? The revisions and understanding people's comments and understanding where it can improve. I think the process itself was fantastic. It definitely helped to have like a structure at least to start writing. I found it to be like super, super stressful, kind of up against a firing squad every week. But I felt that the class improved my writing skills and just critical thinking skills more in one semester than like half of undergrad did for me. Faculty were all willing to meet with you. They consistently offered helpful feedback to make you a better writer and to really help you convey your ideas in a way that you know, could convince somebody else that, hey, this is worth funding. A large chunk of the time was spent looking at specific aims. If you change any of the body of your grant, you need to change the specific aims anyway. So I felt like it was kind of lost time. But overall, it was so great. I learned to be a better scientific writer and I got a lot out of it. Yeah, but I will say this. I feel like this written exam is light years ahead of all the other departments' written exams. Like ours is actually functional and useful. That's all very helpful thoughts, because like I said, trying to figure out what's the best way to involve everybody and give you guys, the students, the most support is really what the group is talking about right now. Everything in the world together right now and all of the stress and all of the pain will bind us closer together and knowing that we're here for each other. reflections on my first year in the pharmacology department. I think it was a pretty rough year. I can say it's been a really challenging year, but it, it's also been very rewarding. Really 
challenging, but also really fulfilling. I was able to transfer in during my third year and you know, it started off, I was a little nervous because I didn't know any of the cohort. How supportive the department was with me, especially um, Nicole and Mauro Calabrese and my committee for my qualifying exam. So special shout out to them. Very grateful to be where I am and uh, to have the opportunities to, uh, to be doing what I'm doing. Uh, I found a great home. I'm very excited to get science started and very excited to finish up my PhD. And I really, really enjoyed the process of you know meeting these new people and joining a department that has been so welcoming. I definitely learned a lot and look forward to learning even more in the coming years. And I'm excited to be here and I'm looking forward to what's next. Always going forward, never going back. There's a saying in Spanish, siempre pa'lante, nunca para atrás. And that's how I'm feeling right now. Given everything I've experienced this year, uh, the unity that I felt within the, the department and the support network that I've gained and expanded upon, I'm really looking forward to the next few years here in the pharmacology department. Our rising third years